painting floating and you're on the road. And this happened to me the other day, which is weird because you're always looking in the same, from the same perspective. Maybe you get a little taller, maybe you get a little shorter, but you're always looking at the trees. And I was driving on the road, or I was, actually no, I was driving. I was on driving and I'm not entirely, you know, cause I, I have been doing it for like around a year or so. I, I, you know, I still have to focus a little bit. So I was driving on the road, um, but then I, I started to get these weird feelings like the trees, like the husks of the trees are way shorter than they should be, way smaller than they should be. And I got this feeling I was looking at a dollhouse and I started to get very kind of overwhelmed by this sense of everything being smaller than it should be while trying to focus on driving. Um, while like music played in the car, boomed in the car, but the speakers were too cold for the bass to work. It was crazy. You know, it was quite crazy, actually. Um, looking back at the incident, um, it felt quite surreal, and I can have understanding way. I mean, it depends on how you look at it. For me, I, it was confusing. Um, when I walked into my house, I, I did not expect to see that. Uh, I didn't expect to see my grandma. Although I told her to come to my house yesterday, it, it, it just shocked me, really. A week prior, when I told her to come over, I, I told her to bring cookies along with her. And there she was, um, my father, standing there just talking to me, having a, a conversation about how how we're doing, you know, it's... I, I, I took a walk that day, right? So, I was walking down the street. I, I did not know what to expect. And then I looked to my left. I, I just saw, you know, that thing over there. You know, that thing. Just look to your left. And don't even, men don't even tell me what happened when I looked to the right. It was just a he, it was just a guy really. It was a silly guy, if you will. It, it doesn't matter who who it was. It just just look at that guy. It's very, very very guy like, you know. It was quite extraordinary, really. Driving is like the soul's like a flying because it's more likely you'll crash into someone driving than flying. Mm. That's pretty souls like. You, you got the speedometer and like, stamina. And I mean, you got alcohol as the Estes flask because it improves your ability to drive. You know? Um, 
I'd say uh, eating is pretty souls like. Because, I mean, if you're anorexic, there's just a skill diff. I mean, you really have this, this, this stamina to eat. You know? Um, I'd say. <laughs> I'm pretty soul-like. I mean... I declare this legal. But where art thou reward? Legal, yet no reward. Why not? No. <laughs> <laughs> Here is my reward. Chicken lettuce, every time. That wasn't even the worst of it. We go to pay, I put in my code, then we walk to the, you know, the table. I see Josh at a distance, bragging about his father's wealth and his job. I then start debating with him, starting to see who's the most Jewy out of both of us. Then Angelo comes behind me, Grabs my butt. I'm very uncomfortable. Where am I? I brought you to my own dimension where I kiss lovers like you. Why? Don't you know me? They call me anti-slap attack. Why stop the slap? Do you have any idea how old he was? Harassing an innocent little boy like that? He was probably a toddler. Five, four, three, two, one years old. It's my job to kill harassers like you. And I have the perfect weapon. Ha! Stay
Hey, good looking. Looking fresh. Cause of ice jacket. Sorry for losing track. Um, the time is currently 5.02. That is either p.m. or a.m. Um, I just, I was going down the hallway from the library. You see, I, I took a left down that hallway. And then as I was walking down the hallway, I also took a right. As soon as I was like halfway in that hallway, I, I decided to take a U-turn. I took a left, went down that hallway. And took a right. And then, then I was back in the library somehow. I, I, I still don't understand how I did that. As soon as I entered that room, that, that room is where it all started. I, I, I still can't comprehend what happened. So yeah, just bring stuff into my new apartment. That's nice, it's pretty spacious. Yeah, I guess. It's a little messy though, don't you think? It'll be fixed eventually.
out that test. What? You probably failed that test, you dumb loser. Oh, I failed that test, I know it. I need to take a piss for those 12 hours. Gotta take a 24 hour leak now. You have no drip. You, you will never find true happiness. Oh my goal just got knotted. You will never have drip, drip. You probably failed that test. This new app Bully has been insulting me all day. Hell, I don't even know why I downloaded this thing. But hey, at least you didn't cry like last time when your buddy criticized the cleanliness of your apartment. This app, these insults, they can make you stronger. You've all been noticing. I mean, I guess. Hey, hey sir, you, you dropped this. Oh. You suck. You're ugly. Now you're, you're so free. Get out of here. 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 Get That was the example of an ignorant person. This is my show. I do. But I want. So, the discussion we have today is the wall. Any wall. I mean, walls are cool. They like. They like. Separate. <laughs>
Attending. Um, so today is actually now it's my birthday. It's been a whole day, and now tell me how does it feel for your last remaining hour? Because it's your birthday and your last day. How does it feel? Um, I mean, I, I, I like the music, the background. I mean, that really adds to the whole more music presence of, of me dying. It's my last day, but I think um, you like where we are. Where are we? Um, I don't know. It sort of looks like Bucharest in uh, Romania. Look at the camera. Let me tell you what Bucharest is. Bucharest is a place with Romanians. I'll be right back. Okay, let's direct the attention. Romanians. Romanians are commonly referred to as. <laughs> Hi, I'm Richard Dickens, and personally, I'm not really into drunk driving. It's, uh, it's a little too dangerous for me. I mean, what does it say? Where's he going? Going for a ride, big boy. <laughs> Just came from the bar. Um, I think I've had a little too much to drink, so I'll just take a few seconds to get me going, then we can be on our way. You know, all this bullshit about drunk driving, right? 
they don't think about it, but there's a reason it's called drunk driving and not drinking driving, right? You already did it. It's in the past, all right? You're driving now. You drunk before, okay? So, you know, in my book, I, I people are bad at multitasking, and I don't think they can be drunk and drive at the same time. They have to focus on one. And if they're good and they ain't pussies, I think they'll do well for themselves. It's the same thing with a speed limit, right? Like, if you're a good driver, <laughs> then you won't get into an accident. William Wallace, any last words? Oh, you may take our lives. Oh, you may rape our wives. You may pillage our village. Kill a kiss and kill. You may slaughter our children. Fuck to me, uncle, and kill him after the clear of the But you will Damn it, Dorian, why do you keep distressing me? I'm just so, so mad. You bub. You bub. Yeah. 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 
Can't breathe, can't breathe, stop. Um, uh, don't make me, uh, imagine if I use my OCD for an excuse for everything. D don't make me clean up, I have OCD. Home at last. What? Hey, who the fuck are you? I got, can you get out of my porch? It's summer, big boy. Relax. You. Check out the view. Who the hot girl appears? Hi, handsome. Wanna play ping pong? Come on. <laughs> it's you know it is what it is it's you see this 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 is really why i i believe you know it's this it's this is, looks so this is kawaii that's what i can all say you know from this it stems and this Jake, it's because you called. This is an intervention. We need you to start selling your body for money. That is a quite a good offer. Yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah. 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 So you have to start. I don't like money, though. No, you have to start very soon. What if I stop, though? Um, consequences would probably occur. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, You know what? I'll sell my feet. No, you have to sell your whole body. My whole body? Yep. But what if I'm only a foot? Um, you're not. You have a whole body. That would be a lie. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, good news. One dollar. Wait! Who? What's your name? My name? Sir Smithington. It doesn't matter. What? Don't take the deal. Why not? I sold my body. And now, my body's not my own body. But you're here. I'm a wimp. I would never have come and confronted him. But the guy who's controlling me did. Is it true? I mean, like, is it actually, like, really that true? That's that bad to sell my body? I'm gonna get a guy on the phone and we can chat. Hello, you've reached Jim. Hey Jim, it's Ruby. I have a guy here who, um, 
A new client. Needed your advice. New client. Hmm. I can't hear you. You can't hear me? No, you must be really far away. Hold on one moment. I'm getting another call. Hello, you've reached Jim. Hey Jim, I'm trying to buy this guy's body for a dollar, but he's being really apprehensive. Do you have like anything I should say to convince him? Hold on one moment, I'm getting another call. Hello, you've reached Jim. Hey Jim, this bozo's trying to buy my body. Thanks for a buck too. The only thing to get him go away, shimmickety smack. Hold on. I'm getting another call. Hey Jim, do you have a body I can use as a host? In this world, souls are represented as shirts. Uh, what's next? I'm a watch. I think we should smash Wait, it's inside cut. out. Is it? Wait, what? I think we should smash <laughs> cut. Like, cut to a different place. Oh, okay, yeah. But where? Wait, have you used a basketball hoop yet? No, and there's also like a river. That could work. Ooh, I got this. That's so good. Girl, girl, girl. Yes. Girl, 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 Stole my bag. No. <laughs> sir, you. Um, sir, can I please get an autograph, please? Uh. All right, you're all good. Do you need that carry-on? Um, it's good for the flight now. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, yes, my carry-on is good for the flight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. That was pretty hot. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, them's the brakes. Um let's take autograph. Hey, Jonah, stand over here. Oh, what should we do next? That's like sharks! Dude, we're not looking for random river. I told you not to look at the damn camera! <laughs> Sign? What's a sign? I don't see no signs. Thank you. Can I see if you say back? so. Well, thank you. Hey. I'm terrifically. Fantastic to sit here for another. I'm a you oh. folk because you ugly. Okay, you're ugly. I guess that we don't want. Yeah, I took my pencil on my signature phone. Hey, Jonah, get this awesome truck! No, I meant to pick 
Oh my, oh my god, check this out. Do you actually eat paper? How often Look at the do you time. Wait, wait, you missed it. What's your favorite kind of paper to eat? Index. Oh my, look Index at the time. Index cards? Yeah, it's the only one I got stick from. What about... Wait, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Oh my god. The bugs out here are insane. This is abstract. Oh my, look at the time. In my master class, we don't just film. We think about film. Take this movie, for example. This is me breaking the fourth wall. It's meta. That's one of many things you'll learn in this master class. I uh, hope you get it. 50 bucks. That's it. No charges other than the 50 bucks. Um, so... We got horror, taught by me. Action. Guess who that's taught by? It's me. We got comedy. <laughs> As you can tell via my last joke, I do also teach that class. And I do also teach you how to film that class, in that class. Um, as you can see, my actors are very spirited. Uh, they very much enjoy working on this production. Uh, and you will enjoy working with me just as much as these lovely folks. Um, so, if you'll follow me down the hallway of film, you'll find yourself uh, in my master class. Use my nail. <laughs> you should give it to him. <laughs> Caught you looking. Oh, wait, what? Today feels good, right? He was like holding my hand during the Jew part. He's so annoying. Who? Taco. Oh, yeah. Isn't today like some Holocaust remembrance day or some shit? Yeah, we watched like some genocide things. In, in history today? Yeah. And in, like, Gov. he needed me to hold his hand. Gov or history? He's kind of caught running. Is, is it in Gov or history? I'm so confused. I'm going to teach you something. What? I don't take history. Look into my it's eyes closely. Years. Listen oh, to me. Because you might forget. I don't need to. And I don't repeat myself. Watch. Look down. If I don't step like that. Nope. Chicken. Look at the chicken. If you peel it, take that part off. Absolutely disgusting. Then you rip it in half. What do you have? It's two pieces of chicken. Chicken is chicken. No longer one. Now, think. Just think for a second. Would you rather have one piece of chicken or two? Mm -hmm. Or would you rather share it with a friend? Take the green pill or the blue no, pill? Your fingers are all over that shit. I don't even see the chicken. I just see your fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, Disrespect. Dude, I can run the play That's all. Better. Electric. No, what's not even that you play? You go. What? Scary. <laughs> He's making men and women. Oh, was it? Wait, that is it? What? Are you looking at me? Good ball. So I owe you money on this property, right? Can I buy this from you as well? Mm, don't do it. You have. He will give you money anyways. No, but I'll give you money. I'll give you more money than you can imagine. Don't do it. And I'm Angelo Corleone. I can give you more money no, than you can dream of. You'll get a monopoly. Don't do it. I actually won't. I don't have some chocolate. He wants popcorn. But then you will get a monopoly. So you should not. Don't do it, young Padawan. Holy shit. Imagine if I get a monopoly. Imagine if I get a monopoly. I'll give you 200. 200. 200. Please. He's not showing you the money. Look at all this money. Look at all this fat right, sex. No, don't do it. 
I think you should ask for a house of his instead. Yes. I'll give you this. Illinois Avenue. No, don't give, don't don't give him 100. Don't give, ask for, no, ask for the orange one. The orange one will prevent him from getting a monopoly. I promise you. He wants, he wants, no, he wants to, he wants an orange one. More price. He wants the orange, he wants both. The, Look at this one. He wants both. Rent of 20. He wants both the orange ones. Look, see. He wants more. <laughs> Give him. Huh? What are you saying? I think this is a pretty good proposition. Not about our BBWs, okay? Not really. They're all skinny. He wants more. He wants more. He wants the orange. No, he wants an orange one. He wants an orange one. You give him money, but he all he wants is the orange one. I can't do that, sir. I cannot do that. Then he is not. I'm a little bit of he a doesn't, pussy. He doesn't want your offer. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna go piss myself now in anger. Where's my phone? Goodbye. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll for you, Ange. Hi. Piece of shit. Yeah, you shot my lawn. I didn't shit. Who's the dog? I'm gonna fuck you up, shit lips. This is all misunderstanding. You just punched me in the face. Well, you should have slept with her. S slept with her? She's my mother, not your wife. Shouldn't have slept with her. What are you, my therapist? As a friend, I'm trying to help you out here. It's wrong to sleep with your mom. Oh, really? And is it so wrong, then, to sleep with your dog? She's my wife! No, she's not. She's a bitch! Enough talk! This is worth a thousand words! But I didn't bring a sword. I just don't understand why you'd fuck your mom, but not me! What? I, I, I just... I just don't understand it. Why you're so distant to me? Is this real? Or is this some sort of devilish trick? It is! <laughs> and you just dropped your sword. And I still have mine. No! Ah! <laughs> you were right! When you said a fist was worth a thousand words. <laughs> but you forgot the silent death. So, that's it. I suppose when two people get in a fist fight, one person's gotta die. It ain't my rules, and by God, it ain't my pride, but sometimes life finds a way to screw over the things you want, the things you need. I loved Elio like he was my mom, even if he didn't love me back. You know, the grandest gestures in the world were done of her love. The Taj Mahal, the Trojan War, hell, even those bastards in the Spanish Inquisition loved Christ. Yep, all over love, the grandest gestures, and the greatest crimes. I can't believe I murdered him. And to think we started out this year as friends. <laughs>
Very incoherent, hard to follow. The credits were like six minutes. Yeah, we even had a credits in the middle of it too.